It's time for some random retro unboxing. Time for Reddit mode. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I have some awesome products to show you and we're going to review here on the channel. Sometimes when the Wicked Ghost product mode, he goes online and just going to purchase some stuff that is just interesting to show here on the channel. And it can be like all kinds of things. It can be like Shana stuff. It can be like products that are secondhand. Sometimes I find these weird, horrible clone consoles. You cannot buy them new anymore. So it's just fun to pick up. Okay, try to cut the box with one hand. It's quite difficult. But the first box is just the biggest box. And it comes with a lot of stuff and maybe also some crap. He told me like, hey, I have some stuff laying around. If you want to have it, you can check it out if you can fix it. Or maybe it's fun to make a review about the products. So Mr. Sante, man, he's a really nice guy. I purchased a lot of stuff from him. And like weird stuff like this, the star drive number two. <laughs> like, I have never seen it before. It even got the cover for the Mega CD. Or I think it will not be a PCB. Some weird controllers. Oh man, there is a really filthy, oh look at this, like this really filthy Japanese Sega Saturn controller. One of the products that I can open up and try to fix, there was no beat pad. Oh man, what is this? Oh, star. I think there was one of the controls that need to belong with the fake Mega Drive. You were like, hey, we have seen this before. But I came in contact with him, I purchased a Nintendo Wii from him. Sadly, there is no box with this version. And he even give me some free games. So for example, what are we going to get? Some familiar games for crappy games. We've got some Wii Play, some extra controllers. There is so much stuff in this box. It's absolutely like freaking unbelievable. Hmm, let's see. So let's grab some games. Let's get out of it. And we're doing a quick overview of the games that came with the system. If there are any good. Sudoku, a lot of crap stuff. Over here, we're going to get this weird N64 lookalike. Cartridge, I'm guessing this is like a Famicom? Hmm, weird. Alright, so here another controller, the Family FR202. Mm, this is a very interesting console, look at this. Like, it's a Famicom and Super Famicom 1. Also interesting, as video out and AV out. Oh, there's the controller. So the box is full with different kind of stuff. Oh, the controller looks nice. So I think I can will use it even if the control is broken. I can also use the controller. But I picked up a couple of fake consoles from him too. Like this is a weird plug and play. I will like double check everything before I'm going to make the review. Just to see if we can make something out of it. Ah, another fake Mega Drive controller. Like this thing is so horrible. Like cheap to the cheap cheap. Then we're going to get this weird... What the hell is this? Like... Is this an 8-bit? It has a... Com it has the original Sega control. Uh, let's see, we got the official racing wheels. Hmm. I think they are like worth nothing anymore nowadays. Back in the day, everybody wants to have Wii wheels. The Wii wheels. Sounds kind of weird if you say it like that. The Wii wheels. All right, so cables, a filthy remote again. Oh man, there was a lot of cleaning needed. Uh, let's see what we're going to get. Ah, we're going to get the Dragon Ball Famicom game. Really cool to have in the collection. Oh man, I need to clean it up. The sensor bar and the power supply. But there is also something pretty cool in this box. And it is like the PlayStation 3 games. So I don't know if there are any PlayStation 3 gamers now out there. But I really love the PlayStation 3. I think it's like this is going to be like the next generation of retro game systems. Ah, Super 66. Ah, I think they will be combined with the light controller or the light gun. Okay, that's it. There was nothing more. So let's do a quick overview of the stuff that was in the box. Alright, so let's see. So, Def Jam Icon, that will be a game that will be added to my collection. Assassin's Creed 3, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm not a big fan of Assassin's Creed. It's a good game, but I will not keep it. Gundam, not a great game, but I love Gundam, so I will keep this one in my collection. No, can I peel it off? Nope. Battlefield, the only, f I think the only game I love to have is the Bad Company 1. 50 cents, never played it. I heard it's like a super easy mode, like a weird shooter. Love to try it and add it to the collection. Book of Spells, I will keep this one because I want to have the special controller in the future. Sounds kind of cool. Lego Batman, I think my nephew will like that. 
and they were in Super Street Fighter 4. There's another great addition to my collection. But there is one game in particular why I ordered, or better said, take the full lot, and it is this game, Marvel Lions 2. One of my favorite games, I played this game to death. It's a pretty good condition. I'm very pleased to have this particular game in my collection. Alright, so that is what I basically bought the pay 3 lot for. So let's take a close look at the Wii games. With the Wii, I want to bring my Wii collection to the next level. But I can say, like, there is so much crap out there. Like, I'm very pleased to have this version. I want to have the full edition with the normal case. What's cool to have the cardboard, like this basic edition that came with Wii itself. Still very good condition. Well, very pleased to see that. Alright. Okay, so very happy to have the Super Mario Wii. I love the game. Sudoku, don't like it. Pictionary, nope. Not going to like it, not going to keep it. So this game looks cool. The Blob. Like, I love these games. Monster Hunter 3. Also a very great game for the Wii. Okay, the Wii Play. Oh, I have so much good memories of this. That's one of the Wii Sports and Play I played at a lot. You Draw. I don't have the tablet with it, so I can't do anything about it. Tiger Woods. Babysitting. What the hell, man? Come on. What a crap. CSI game. Yeah, more crap. Monster Hunter 3. Yeah, I got a double one in this lot. Yep, okay. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. Metal of Honor. Nope, not going to. No, absolutely not going to keep it. I hate to play games like these on the Wii. And this is a game I was wanted to add to my collection. Like the Wii exclusive games, I really love them. Okay, so let's go to the next box. And not the next box. Alright, so let's take a close look at this bad boy. The Twin Frozer GTX 6060. For the people who are new to the channel, I really love myself some graphic cards. And I'm not, I don't, I'm not getting the time for it, but I want to do more PCs related stuff here on the channel. Because I'm a big fan of PCs. I'm building PCs like, I think like forever now, like more than 10 years. And when I sometimes come across one of these boxed old school graphic cards that you can pick up for a couple of dollars, I really love to do so. And just test them out on some benches. Because you would be surprised what you can do with an old graphics card. People like spending like too much money on these things. And sometimes people don't need like brand new like 3060. Maybe this is a little bit too old. But you know that is what I find always interesting about old tech. For a lot of people obsolete and not necessary. But I love to check close look at it. Look at this GPU cooler. Mm -mm. So this time there is no package from China, nope, there is not, because we're having something differently. So this is, comes from Europe, there seems to be like guys who are like going tape frenzy like the Chinese always do. But this product, they got me interest. And the reason why I like with a retro station, or better said like an Android box they most of the time use with Emmy Alec, this version is slightly different. And when I'm meeting with different, we can do some more stuff that we couldn't do before. And that's the reason I wanted to make a review about it. I've been struggling to get this thing open for like a couple of minutes or so. So I'm going to cut the video over here. So what I we're going to get is that we're going to get this upgrade kit with in combination. And I think it was a one terabyte disk. So normally having an SD card that goes inside of the machine itself and basically contains every single file. But this one is slightly different. It comes in a very nice external hard drive enclosure. I do like it. It weighs, by the way, really heavy. Like, really heavy. Well, let's take a close look at it. Okay, so, first of all, this thing weighs like a brick. I will not do an unboxing. I will do it, like, in the full review. I just want to give you a peek inside. So, the main difference is that it, what you're going to get is, like, an SD card and a USB hub because we don't have enough USB ports. But he told me, like, you need to plug in this device, like, this SD card and use it in combination with the external hard drive and it's quite interesting so one terabyte and we can even maybe use some bigger hard disk spaces in combination with a machine so hmm, curious what we're going to get in the main review so for today's video i just want to give you a quick look in this gigantic box yep we have another big boy and i ordered something that i was looking for for a very long time but i'm not going to say of course what it is you will see so let's open it up, I of course having one hand to freaking open this box and I am so super excited to unbox this and to show you guys. So let's take a close look in the inside, 
All right, let's see what we're going to get here. A lot of plastic. They did a very nice up packing it up. Ah, there's a card for the guys. So a little shout out to the Dutch Game Boys here. They also have an eBay channel. Uh, I bought from them the Wild Child, Wolf Child. I wasn't watching Wild Child. Wolf Child and the Mega City and the other one, like Kate Classics. And yep, here he is. Oh man. Oh, I always I wanted to have this device for such a long time. Let's see what's inside more. Like a lot of packaging. Uh -huh. Let's see. Here I have all the cables. Oh, what a nice zip bag. Yep, I ordered myself a Mega Drive number one. I wanted to have this for such a long time, and these things are pretty hard to find here. Most of them, I think, they were sold mostly in UK. And well, because if you're looking at the Mega Drive One and the Mega Drive Two, I reviewed like the review of the Mega Drive Two is already online, and they are like very easy to find, like very common, or even like a very let's say niche piece of hardware. But this thing, oh boy, but a bad boy. I wanted to make the power of tower, so maybe in the future we'll pick up on 32x. But I was really pleased to find it. It's an okay condition. I know it's like there are some scratches here and there, but yeah, that's what you're going to get. I will try to clean it up to see if I can get it in perfect condition. But okay guys, so I am super pleased to have my Mega CD. I also have the Newman 2, but I am just a big fan of the Mega Drive 1. Especially in combination with the card and the stereo output. Signal, best, in my opinion, I think the best system will always be like the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive 1. At first I wanted to pick up a Japanese edition, but same problem, very hard to find. And this thing came on my radar, like out of the blue. Picked it up a two extra game for the collection, so let's take a close look in here what are we going to get? Yep, the original power supply, 10 volts. So everything is in nice condition. It comes even with an RGB cable. I will use this different ROM from the UK guys and an official original controller. We'll clean it up. Maybe we'll do a video about it. Most of the time I just use my six pad. Not my six pack, but my six pad controller. Two original Sega power adapters. Very nice. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that bell, become one of the Wicked family. I hope you really enjoyed this unboxing. We're going to do a lot of new videos in the future. And it will be awesome to have you here in the Wicked family. So hit that little bell and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.